What's going on? This your boy 316, man. I'm here to talk to y'all about something, man. The world is going under, and they going under fast. We're going under so fast. And people are not understanding what's really going on out here. We letting the church, the church, I'm speaking on the church because the, see, first of all, the Bible is not for this, the, the, the Bible is not for the person that's already condemned because if you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you already condemned. This Bible's for the church. This Bible's for the believer. It's for everybody. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. This Bible is for everybody. Though so God's word is, is, is for everybody, but it really, and it goes in to the Christian. To the person, the child of God, the person that's walking in Christ. You know what I'm saying? And we're not walking in Christ out here, man. I don't, never mind. I'm not talking about the going to the clubs. I'm not talking about drinking, smoking. I'm I'm not talking about all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because here's the deal. Everybody goes through stuff. Everybody has problems. Who am I to tell you? what to do and what not to do i'm just here giving you a message from the lord and all this is scriptural but here it is we have all these different ideologies out here and 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 this prosperity preaching and i'm not talking about the the the, the um how can you say it the obvious uh prosperity preaching it's the prosperity preaching that's telling you, oh, well, yeah, you, you're supposed to have this in life and this is the way you're supposed to be in life. And and it gives, and, and prosperity really gives you a rule book. It gives you a list. See, we live under a rule book here, a list, a worldly standard. I always ask people all the time, listen, whatever you believe in, that's cool. But we live in a world where you're supposed to prove what you believe. Right? So if I'm supposed if you want me to prove my ideology, and I don't even have an ideology, I just have God's word, I'ma show you. I I can say what I say and I can actually show you <laughs> in the scripture where it says that, and not just one scripture. Because I love the people that love to give me one scripture and then be like, you see, see, uh-uh, no, did you read, read? Because there are some things that you're missing. There's other scriptures that's going, that, that goes with that scripture. You got to connect the scripture, connect the dots. You know what I'm saying? Isn't it, one scripture is not going to take you there. Please. How many times a person heard John 3.16? And still haven't believed. So don't throw no. So your one verse don't mean nothing. And we got some of those people out there. One verse throw outers and think that's what it is. No. That's why the Lord spoke in parables. The Lord speak in parables for the Christian, not for the unbeliever. If you and you're truly an unbeliever, if you got his if you, if you got his word wrong, period. If you got, to, if you can only throw out a couple of scriptures out the Bible to me or anybody and say that's the way you're supposed to live, um, <clears throat> pause. No, <laughs> it doesn't happen like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got it twisted. Y'all got my God twisted. I'm tired of y'all playing with my God. Jesus ain't never said do all these things that y'all people advocate for or doing in this world. Actually, the world is really rebellious. Marriages ain't wait the way it's supposed to be. And people don't want to talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. Marriages ain't the way it's supposed to be. I know people all over are having marriage problems. You know why it's marriage problems? Because we don't got God, right? It's just that simple. I don't got nothing to do with, oh, this person don't got enough money, or this person ain't working, or this, that, and the third. Uh, pause. No. You're wrong. If you got God right, you are right. You understand what I'm saying? In fact, if we read scripture even more, it tells you. <laughs> it tells you how a marriage is supposed to be. And we don't we, we read it and it never registers. 
it tells you how to treat people in certain situations. We read it, but we never exercise it. You know what I'm saying? It tells you how 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 the Lord speaks to you, or what's the the real Holy Ghost? What's the real Spirit of God? What's real love? All that is in the Scripture, and what we do, we take it, we idolize it. We, we we put a theologian behind the mic and let him read. I don't want to. I don't want. I don't care about a theologian's uh, opinion about my word, about the word of God. I don't care about your philosophy. My thing is this: if it doesn't match up, it is what it is. It's false. It's fake. This three sixteen giving y'all about what six minutes, six six minutes of my time. I let your boy, man. I'm gone. Man.